All right, you guys, welcome to class. Uh, I apologize for the tardiness. My last class went way over a lot of a lot of questions, and I was trying to uh, uh, help explain some things, and it uh, went uh, went a little long. So we're going to try and jump into this as quick as we can, so that we can all uh, all get a chance to to answer some questions. Okay, uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Alexandra, how you doing? Hello, hello. How are Hi, you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> super, super. Okay, how about Santi? How you doing, Santi? Okay, how hey, about hey, how Patrick? You? I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you, good to have you here. Santi, Santi, where are you from? Well, I'm from Spain. From Spain, okay. Great. Uh, Patrick? Patrick, good to have you back in class. <laughs> All right. Uh, we also have Hamed. Hamed, welcome to class. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Too. Okay. And yeah, we also have. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Um, we also have Amparo. Hi there, Amparo. Welcome to class. Okay. Uh, let's try Raquel. Hi, Raquel. How are you? Okay, let me uh, try Amparo one more time. Uh, Amparo? Hello. Can Hi there. Now? Yes, okay. I can. Uh, still loading. Okay. And let's see, Raquel, are you there? Okay. Yes, I'm here. There you are. Welcome. Good, good to have you here. Okay, very good. Thanks. So we're, we're going to... Great, great. Uh, we're going to be doing um, a TOEFL, uh, TOEFL answers uh, this hour. Okay, mainly working on uh, the first part. There, there's actually six different parts in the uh, TOEFL speaking test. Um, we're, we're just focusing on one of them. It's the easiest to do in a larger classroom setting. Uh, the other one requires a lot of. Uh, the other ones require a lot of reading and and such. So um, we'll be uh, focusing on on this. This is a timed. Uh, a timed practice, or it's also a timed test. Uh, if you were to take the test, uh, you have uh, a chance to read the question, 15 seconds to review your answer, okay, and then uh, 45 seconds to answer the question. Now, when when I run the clock here, you guys, it starts off at zero, it goes up to 15. I start it from 15, 15 seconds, and it goes up to one minute. So when you see 45, that's not the end. It goes up to 60 seconds or up to a minute. Okay, so just uh, just as a uh, a fair warning, that's uh, that's how I do it here. Okay, uh, when you answer your questions, make sure that you are using a uh, a mini essay format. Okay, to answer your question with an introduction, supporting statements, and a conclusion. All right. Now uh, let's see, uh, Santi, have you have you answered um, uh, TOEFL questions before? No, I haven't. Okay, so this will be a first time for you. Okay, good. Uh, how about uh, Patrick? Patrick, have you answered TOEFL questions before? No, no, neither have I. Okay. All right. How about Alexandra? Have you answered TOEFL questions before? Me neither. Okay. All right. So um, I'm gonna. I'll start off with Amparo. Um, she'll give you guys kind of an example of how how to do it. Okay, and then I'll move back to Alexandra, and we'll and we'll kind of uh, bounce around that way, uh, because really the first time you guys is is a little tricky. Okay, mm -hmm. trying to get used to the time. You think you have a lot more time than you actually do. All right, and there uh, there's a specific way to kind of uh, uh, bowl through it. Okay, all right. So uh, let's go to our questions. The questions are in the uh, class materials. Okay, I'll also put it in. <laughs> Why you? Because <laughs> you're you're the one over on that that side of the of the uh, of the screen this morning. Cape go today. <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right. So let me uh, let me go to this one right here. Okay. All right. So um, we are we're going to be on page number. Let's see, I think we went to, okay, so high school policy. 
right, um, Amparo, have you done uh, the uniforms question before? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Let's have you uh, do that question. Okay. So uh, number thirteen. Uh, uniforms. Other high school permits students to decide what to wear to school. Which of these two school policies do you think is better? Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Well, in, in my opinion, I agree with the idea of have a, to to need to wear um, a school uniforms at the school because in that way you have uh, you don't have uh, any difference uh, uh, between students uh, what uh, um, brand or what, uh, what uh, clothes are better so you don't have any discrimination in that sense um, um, and you, you you have first long Hello, Amparo. So Hello, Amparo. Yep, I think uh, I think we lost you lost you a little bit there. Okay, so um, Amparo, can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Now you can hear me. Yeah. Now, now I can. Mm. Yeah. It. Um, uh, I think your your connection was getting a little weak there. Yeah. Let me move to another place because it's like it's too far from the. Did you hear me? May I answer? Uh, I, I heard Not the first the first part of it. Um, mm. in, in the your first your first section there, um, the, the one thing that remember if you if you're saying uh, I in my opinion I agree, right after agree you want to say the word that. That. Okay. Mm. Uh, because when you and this is this is why it took you about 15 seconds to get through your your introduction because you said uh, I agree with the idea of having and then you had to go back and restate everything over yeah, yeah. again. I, I, my, my connection it was weak and I, I wasn't able to read what the, the question was so uh, it was oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gotcha okay I see. <laughs> yes I was lost okay yeah uh, just even the remember. stopwatch it, it's it, it's not it wasn't clear working. for me yeah, yeah no not at all. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll let, we'll, uh, we'll uh, um, give it a rest on on this one. We'll come back and we'll see if we can do another one with you. But yeah, just remember, agree and then that. Okay. Yeah. And that'll yeah. that'll move you into the rest of your uh, the rest of your your answer. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, very good. Let's go to. Let's see. Um, okay. So Alexandra. Yes, I'm here. Okay, let's go to you. All right, now Alexandra, number fourteen. Go ahead and uh, and read this, please. I don't see it. Uh, it's been okay. number fourteen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Puedo escuchar nada. In some countries, I can hear a TV somewhere. Can you hear it? Um, no, I was just uh, gonna mute Amparo because she was talking. Uh, okay, go ahead. In some countries, teenagers have jobs while they are still students. Do you think this is a good idea? Support your opinion by using specific reasons and details. Okay. Oh. All right. So you have uh, 15 seconds to prepare. Now, with uh, the the question, I put the question in the chat box, so you can, and it's in the Google chat box, so you can go back and you can look at it. Right, so you want to create a short introduction. 
then you're going to have your supporting details and into a conclusion. Okay. All right. So let's let's give it a try. Okay. So 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? <laughs> Difficult, but I'll try to. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I think it's very useful for teenagers to find at least a part-time job for their future uh, because that will give them um, a chance to develop professional skills and to get some uh, valuable skills also. Uh, besides, they won't remain um, a financial burden on their parents. Uh, by gaining the experience, uh, the, the experience which is necessary for their future job, they will be a more valuable and uh, well paid off workers and they will be better prepared for their future life. Uh, so, okay. and <laughs> that's all? Okay, all right, yeah. Uh, give me one second. Okay, now, um, uh, you did very well. You had an introduction, okay? You had supporting statements. Now, the only thing that you were lacking there conclusion. Okay, is a conclusion. Now, in your conclusion, you want to be extremely <laughs> obvious, okay? Extremely obvious that you are ending. So, you want to use words like, that's why I believe that students should get a job, or these are the reasons why I believe students should get a job when they're in, okay? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. in conclusion, or therefore, or all in all. Okay, all of those are words that uh, that say, hey, hey, I'm going to be ending my statement now. Yeah, I was just, you know, pressed for time. This is very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But I, I couldn't tell that you were that you were nervous. I couldn't tell that you were that you were nervous and you didn't know quite what to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now one thing in there. All right. I would make sure that you uh, um, uh, organize your thoughts a little bit because you did say um, uh, valuable skills uh, a few times in your or uh, okay. a phrase that was that was close to it. So uh, don't repeat yourself. Okay, until you get to the well, not really even till then, because you're really just saying you're you're repeating your introduction in another way. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, um, you had you had about four, three or four examples. It was it was pretty good. Okay, so nice job. What I do want to work work on is the pronunciation of the word give. So instead of give, it's give. Try that. Ah, uh, give. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now. Um, uh, when someone is well paid, okay, you said uh, if they do this, they will be well paid of workers. Okay, instead of well paid of workers, they will be well paid workers. Yeah, that's nervousness. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So taking out that that word of. Okay. But other than uh -huh. that, you did really good. So get your structure down. Then you can start to worry about uh, the pronunciations and grammar and things like that. Okay, because once you find that structure and you're able to end within 45 seconds, the the pressure is released. Okay, and you and then you can work through your answers. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Yes, it okay. does. Very good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm, thank you. All right, let's can go to Hamid. Can, can I ask you something? Uh, sure. What's up? Yes, it's because uh, for example, in this question, if I want to refer to the late years of a teenager, let's say from 16 to 19. Uh -huh. Okay, late teens. Uh, yes, you can call it the late teens. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The late teens. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good, very good. Nice point. Uh, great. Let's go to let's see here, Patrick. All right, Patrick. Okay. Um, so we're on page number two under children and education. Question number fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, go ahead and read that out loud, please. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Uh, children should begin learning a foreign language as soon as they start school. Uh, use specific reasons and examples to support your position. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, so you have 15 seconds to prepare. Now, Patrick, okay. just kind of like what you've heard, a short introduction. In that introduction, you're going to briefly answer the question. Then you're going to move to your supporting statements. Okay, okay. and then okay. don't forget your conclusion. Okay, mm -hmm. keep an eye on the clock. Once you get to about 50 to 55 seconds, you want to conclude. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So you have 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. All right. Okay. Ready? Starting. Yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. Uh, um, so the question is: uh, uh, Should the children uh, should children uh, begin learning uh, a foreign language as soon as they start school? Uh, of course, they should. Uh, we don't have to think about it, uh, but uh, the other questions that we a question that we have. Um, uh, um, how? Oh God! <laughs> uh, how? Um, uh, uh, okay, let's uh, let's work on it. Let's work on it. You're okay. You're okay. All right. Uh, because I can tell you this. Um, uh, uh, one, some of my advanced students, they've come into the class and they've done the exact same thing. <laughs> okay? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Well, it's, it's, like, uh, it's like when you go in to do, um, to do exercise. I know what, for me, for example, um, I, 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 uh, from on my body, I, ha I had an extra um, a 35 to 40 kilos mm. on my body. I used to be really big. Okay, and when I decided to go to, to exercise and start losing weight, I could not do five push-ups. I couldn't do them. Okay, and I used to be really strong before, and so I got down and I tried to do five. And I went, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so when you when you're starting something new, it it's a little difficult. Then you get better with practice. Okay? Uh, thank you for your cheer up. Okay, so yeah, now now I can do about seventy-five push-ups without even thinking about it. Okay, oh. so <laughs> it works. Okay, you you practice it. Now let's take a look. Now we're going to work on our on our introduction. Okay, okay. Uh, introduction here. So, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Okay, do not repeat the question. Okay, if you do uh, repeat part of it, you want to be. I'm answering. losing the time, right? Yeah, you lose the time. Okay, so our introduction mm -hmm. is going to be very short. Okay. It, you in this in this situation you agree so you're going to say I agree that okay if okay. you disagree I disagree that you want the word that right afterwards okay that'll that'll shorten what you want to get to so I agree that then right here children should be begin learning a foreign language as soon as they start school that's your introduction okay okay you answer the question okay and you set up everything for your supporting reasons okay so uh, I agree that children should begin learning a foreign language as soon as they start school for a couple of reasons now you're going to give me two reasons the first reason is but up but up but up but up but up my second reason is but up but up but up okay then at the very end you're going to give your conclusion uh, those are the reasons why I believe Children should begin learning a foreign language as soon as they start school. Okay? okay. So once you get your introduction, your conclusion is uh, finished pretty much at the same time. Okay? Uh, now the hard part is just making sure that you have at least at least two two reasons. Two, uh, two reasons to support your answer. Okay? You can have more than that, but be careful. I, I don't suggest going past four. Have, have okay? Watch time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you're going to answer these. Now, this isn't only good, you guys, for TOEFL. This is great for interviews. All right. So if you are looking to get a job in Australia, New Zealand, England, Ireland, Canada, the United States, if they ask you a question, okay, if they say, "Tell me a little bit about yourself," okay, you want to have a short, a short uh, uh, response. 
Okay, you don't want to go off on blah, da, da, off on into you know the you know outer space. Okay, short, concise responses that show them that you know how to to answer a question in an efficient way. Okay, that's what these are good for as well. Okay, all right. So uh, hopefully I can get back around to you and we'll we'll give it a go again. Okay, Patrick. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. All right, let's go to Raquel number sixteen. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Boys and girls should attend separate schools. Use a specific resources and examples to support your answer. Okay. All right, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Okay. I do totally disagree with the idea of uh, separated schools. I think that the schools should be a reflection of what the real world is. That's why diversity is uh, very important, so that the children learn how to behave with uh, different people, people that they are different from them. Also, I consider that uh, uh, it's good for them to mix it with people and uh, to work in a cooperative manner instead of a competitive uh, area. That's why I do totally support schools where children and boys study together. Wow, look at you. That was great. That was really good. Awesome introduction, good supporting statements, okay, and a good conclusion. Okay, that was really good, Raquel. Nice job. Really good. Okay, you. you're I, you're supporting. What's that? No, I think I was a bit confused with one of the ideas, but um, okay. I think I no. repeat one. Um, uh, so your your idea here? Uh, yes, they they weren't uh, as different. Okay, they weren't you know strikingly different, um, but. That's a, that's okay. That's a one one area to work on, okay. But it but it was really good. You got your point across, okay. okay? Um, because yeah, I mean, you said this is this is how I took it, okay. These are the two points that I got from it, okay. Um, you, it's good to have your school be a reflection of r the real world, okay. That mm -hmm. was one point that I took. The other point that I took was diversity. Is good so that people uh, mix with uh, with other type of people and and uh, um, and whatnot, so that they can learn how to do it. So were they extremely different? No, not that much. But I didn't think that you were really repeating yourself. Okay. Okay, because one was real world, the other one was diversity is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it, they were similar, but they, it wasn't a repetition. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 why I say okay, yeah, they they were good, they were similar, but not a repetition. Okay, so that I thought that was really good. Um, I do want to uh, practice the phrase you said, "Good for them to mix," and I, I I can't remember if you said different there, but it's mainly good and mix that I wanted to work on. So instead of good and mix, okay, we want to say good for them to mix with different okay. people. Try that. Good for, the, good for them to mix with different people. Okay, all right, let's try it one more time. Instead of good, okay, good, good. it's good, 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 good. 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 So open, open your mouth good. just a little bit more. Uh, good. 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 good, okay, good for them to mix with different people. Good for them to mix with different people. Good, all right, much, much better with the R on four as well. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very nice job. Very good, Raquel. Nice job. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh, very cool. Let's go to uh, Santi. Okay. All right, Santi. Let's have you take a look at number seventeen, please. Go ahead and read that out loud. Okay. Some people think that children should begin their formal education at a very early age and should spend most of their time on school studies. 
Others believe that young children should spend most of their time playing. Compare these two views. Which view do you agree Okay. All right. So, Santi, here, okay, you want to you want to create an, an introduction. With your introduction, it should be short. Okay. Now, this is uh, actually, uh, this is, um, you know what? This is a little complicated. Let's move. Let's move to eighteen, Santi. Okay. Let's do eighteen. Seventeen is a little complicated for your first first go at it. Okay, because it's a it's a compare. Uh, let's do 18, and this one should be a little less complex. Let's do this one. Okay, you're still going to, with your introduction, you want to answer the question briefly. Remember, and with, do you agree or disagree? Okay, I agree that, or I disagree that, and then you're going to state your answer. Okay, so go ahead and read this number 18, and then we'll, uh, and then I'll give you 15 seconds. Okay. Okay. Schools should ask students to evaluate their teachers. Do you agree or disagree? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Okay. So 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Okay. Go. Uh, well, I think nowadays it's very usual to evaluate uh, our teachers, uh, and I totally agree with that, uh, because evaluating teachers is the only way to know if they are good at their works, and if they are, uh, if they are not good at their works, they have to improve themselves. Uh, also, I think in a school uh, maybe it's it's not the best way because sometimes when the the people are young, uh, only criticize because they are angry with other things. All in all, uh, I have to say that uh, from my point of view, is the best way to improve the education of a country. All right, nice nice job for your for your uh, first go. Okay, really good. So uh, you had a uh, an introduction, your supporting statements, and a conclusion. That was really good. Okay, uh, now your conclusion. You can tighten that up just a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, and I would and I would uh, I would leave it. I would probably go with um, uh, I agree. Okay, I agree that uh, that that students should be able to evaluate their teachers in school. Okay, make it nice and simple, nice and easy. Okay. okay. Uh, so do that, and then uh, and then your um, your your reasons here. Okay. So in your reasons, you had some uh, 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 grammatical errors. Okay. So I want to I want to touch on those just one second. Um, uh, first up, you said it's very usual to evaluate uh, to evaluate uh, teachers uh, today. Okay. Um, instead of usual, I would use the word normal. Okay. Okay. It's very normal. Uh, it's very normal to evaluate teachers these days. Okay, uh, so uh, next one here. Um, it's the you said it's the only way to see if they're good at their works. Okay, um, here uh, I would switch works for job to yeah, see if they're okay. good at their job instead of their works. Okay, um, last one here, uh, which I thought was a really good uh, a, a really good point because it was on the contrary. Okay, was uh, you were talking about there might be a problem uh, with the students because at that age um, they they might only want to criticize. Okay, uh, now here you said um, let's see if I can remember because um, all, all I wrote down was only criticize. You said they they only um, they they would ah dang it <laughs> trying trying to think of that in the Spanish way um, it'd be. I only want to criticize. I think I said. Yeah, it, you said that they they only want to, and with that, instead of only, okay. A lot of times when you want when you want to use the word solamente, right? Um, yeah. Use the word just. Okay. Okay. It's the it means the same thing, but we don't use only in the same way that you use the word solamente. Okay. Okay. We use the word just. They just want to criticize. Okay, okay, instead of only, okay, in, in that 
uh, particular situation. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, moving into your your uh, uh, conclusion, your conclusion was uh, was pretty good. Okay. Uh, um, that's why I believe. Okay. That we should be able to uh, evaluate our teachers. Okay. I thought I thought that was good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice job. First go. Uh, your first go was pretty good. Nice. Okay. Cool. Let's go to um, let's go to Alexandra. Okay, so Alexandra, number 19, please. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Teachers should be paid according to how much their students learn. Give specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. <laughs> All right, so 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, you ready? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right, go. So, I strongly disagree with the statement that teachers should be paid according to the level of knowledge of their students. First of all, um, students' student abilities are very different so that it's very difficult for the teacher to find uh, the pos to get along with everybody and find uh, this suitable um, approach to all of them. And besides, mm, I can't think of another reason really. <laughs> okay, uh, conclude it. Go. <laughs> so all in all, judging by only one reason, I can say that. Uh, Teachers shouldn't be paid according to the level of the knowledge. Okay. All right. Now, yeah, if you can only come up with one, that's okay. Okay. Uh, because if you were to go take a uh, um, take take the exam, uh -huh. okay, and you could only only do that, just give it the best one reason answer you can possibly give. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, yeah, I do recommend. Okay, as much as putting in as much information as you can, but if you if you freeze or if you can only think of one, go with that one. It's best to answer the question with the information you can than to not answer it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's why I said okay, conclude it, conclude it. That's okay, all right? Um, all right, now let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, at the very beginning. Um, how how could I shorten this to the level of knowledge of their students? Students' knowledge. There you go. Okay. <laughs> students' knowledge. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, students' knowledge. I would definitely definitely do that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, another thing here. Uh, you were talking about the suitable approach. Um, yes. Probably you can say suitable, uh, but I would probably say best. Suitable is okay. It's a really long word, okay? Uh, but yeah, best would be is is more natural for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the best approach to teaching because there's so many different types of students, uh, it's impossible to find the best approach to teach all of them. Maybe them appropriate. Okay, you could say appropriate as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, appropriate approach. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now uh, let's take a look at uh, so the intro and the and the uh, conclusion here. Okay. So with uh, this question, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Now um, you want to start off with uh, agree or disagree. And so you said I I disagree that. Okay. And you can actually go right right to your question here. I disagree that teachers should be paid according mm -hmm. to how much their students learn. Okay, mm -hmm. so instead of trying to come up with your own intro, okay, take so right from there. No paraphrasing. I mean, no rephrasing. I can simply uh, just repeat the question. Yep. Just repeat the question, or just uh, you're not really repeating the question. You're because you're answering it. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you you don't want to say. Um, so after you read it, 
uh, do you agree or disagree with the following statement and, and read through the whole thing and then state your answer okay you don't want to do that okay mm -hmm. just move right into your introduction I disagree mm -hmm. that teachers should be able should be paid according to how much their students learn mm -hmm. for uh, or for two reasons or because and then you state your one reason mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. in your conclusion your conclusion is almost going to be the same thing this this is I'm saying this because there's only one reason okay mm -hmm. this or that whichever one you want to use this is the reason why I believe mm -hmm. teachers should be paid according to or they shouldn't be paid according to how much their students learn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay does, does mm -hmm. that make sense yes it does <laughs> okay all right very good very good all right thank you very much mm -hmm. thank you okay let's go to Amparo all right Amparo um, Okay, uh, number 20. Okay. People attend college or university for many different reasons. For example, new experiences, career preparation, um, increased knowledge. Why do you think people attend college or university? Use the specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Okay. 15 seconds to prepare. Okay. Um, well, in my opinion, I think people attend college or university uh, because of a necessity. Uh, we live in a competitive world, and the only way to get a better job is having a, a better education. Uh, most of your colleagues uh, have a master's degree or PhD, and you don't want to be the section. So if you want, if you want a, a well-paid job, um, you have to be updated with your knowledge every day. Um, if, you go, if you go into the university, you can get it. Um, that is why I think people attend college or new universities nowadays. All right. Very good. Let's see. Uh, okay. Great. Okay. Uh, really good introduction. Okay, um, good supporting statements, and then uh, into your conclusion. Okay, under under time, it was really good. Okay, nice job. Now, um, let's take a look at at uh, pronunciation. Okay, so you said most of your colleagues. Colleagues. Your most of your, your most of your colleagues. Most of your colleagues. Yeah, try that one more time. Most of your colleagues. Most of your colleagues. Okay, good. Uh, next one here, exception. Make sure to pronounce that P. You don't want to be the exception. You don't want to be the exception. Okay, one more time. You don't want to be the exception. You don't want to be the exception. Good, okay. Um, last one here. So, um, this one, your, your word choice was just a little off. You have to be updated with your knowledge, okay? Mm -hmm. Instead mm -hmm. of updated, up to date. Okay, and instead of saying have to, mm -hmm. okay, we want to use, we want to be, uh, uh, we want to give advice. Okay, so uh, you should be up to date, okay, or it's better to be, instead of saying you have to be, mm -hmm. okay, because remember in English that sounds yeah. very strong. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, so. Yeah, there's a suggestion. Yeah, so it's a suggestion or, mm -hmm. okay, you, it's, it's better to be up to date with your knowledge okay so mm -hmm. you can compete with uh, with everybody okay? okay instead of updated up to date okay up to date okay okay very good all right nice job Amparo very nice Thank you. okay uh, all right let's go to let's see um, Hamid yeah all right Hamid let's uh, see here number 21 please <laughs> actually I'm frustrating low down uh, what's that I'm frustrating. Low down. You're you're frustrating. Yeah. Why? Why so? Really. There's a lot to think about. My, uh, the, uh, as you know, that's uh, the very the very special class I need, and uh, there's a problem with the connection, uh, the internet, yeah. and uh, electricity. Oh, 
Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's oh. always a problem. I know. I know yeah. how that feels. Believe me. Believe me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look here. So number twenty-one. Go ahead and read that. If you could study a subject that you have never had to opportunity to study, what would you choose? Explain your choose using a specific reason and material. Okay, so yeah. all right, let's uh, let's take a look at our introduction here, Hamid. Okay, so uh, uh, actually, I would like to study astrophysics. Okay, but, great. Uh, I can't I can't explain uh, the world or explain how can I study why I want to study. So. Okay, can you can I say, choose uh, you can, you can another choose thing else. easy? Yeah, you can like, choose like the something language. That's, I would like easy. to study. Like a, just, just I remember like though. Just remember though, you yeah. want you want to focus in on one answer. Yeah. Okay. I would so. like to study some. I would like to study. Go. I would like to study uh, Spanish language because. Uh, why, okay. why I would like right, to study so, learning language? So let's let's uh, let's pause right there, Hamid. Okay, so you have your introduction. Yeah. Okay, if I could study, yeah. if I could study a subject I have never studied, I would study. Okay, I would study the Spanish language. That's going to be your intro. Okay, now I want you. I, I'm going to give you 15 seconds, and I want you to prepare your your reasons. So think of about two reasons, okay. and then move to your conclusion. Okay, so 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I would like to study Spanish language. Uh, why? My reason for study is Spanish, Spanish language because uh, I want to visit Spain and Spanish and Spain or Spanish. Uh, and there is a lot of histo uh, history thing happening in, in Spain and battles and they have a long story history and uh, my vision go in in this history and there is a lot of article Building there. In the okay, all right. Let's uh, let's pause right there. Okay, now, now um, with the with your answer, you mentioned history uh, a lot. Okay, uh, I would suggest um, you can talk about history. Okay, uh, so it would be it would be a, a few different reasons. So. You said that you wanted to visit there, and you wanted to visit there because you want to see the history. Okay, that's fine. But I would also think of another reason, maybe because knowing Spanish might help you uh, uh, further further down the line with your job, knowing another language. Okay, it it uh, it, it would definitely be a good thing yeah. to to learn. So try and think of uh, one other thing that's in there, or. If uh, if uh, all you all you have is that one answer, okay, that's okay. But I would not keep repeating uh, about history, okay, because they've all they've already heard that, okay. So mention it one time, and if you can, move on to another subject or another another reason. If not, conclude it from there, okay. And so your conclusion at, at the end would would sound something like this. So that is the reason why. I would choose to learn Spanish if I had the opportunity, okay, or if I had the opportunity to study another yeah. subject, okay. Okay, but much, much better. I had the opportunity. Yes. Much, okay. much better. You stayed on one That's subject, better. okay, and you were yeah. talking about one subject the whole time. That's an improvement from where we were at before, okay. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so just remember, slow and steady improvements, and you will get there. Slow and steady, okay. Nice, nice job, Hamid. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. Very good. Let's go to uh, 
Uh, Patrick? Okay. Okay, Patrick, time. number 22. Uh, okay. Uh, many students choose to attend schools or universities outside their home countries. Why do some students study abroad? Use specific reasons and details to explain your answer. Okay, you have 15 seconds to prepare. Remember, introduction, supporting statements, and your conclusion. Your introduction should come straight from your from your uh, uh, your question. Your question is going to be a, an opinion question. So you want to start off with something like "In my opinion" or "I believe that." Okay, something like that. Okay, so 15 seconds to prepare, Patrick. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, yeah, I think so. All right, let's go for it. Okay, uh, in my opinion, uh, the, mo uh, the most important uh, reason uh, why students uh, uh, prefer to study uh, abroad is that uh, uh, the education abroad is more uh, prestigious. Because uh, um, uh, when you get uh, study abroad, uh, you have more chances to uh, get a high-paid uh, uh, job. Uh, uh, besides, uh, uh, you have uh, an opportunity to learn new language that is uh, good for you too. That's, okay. That's it. Yeah. All right. Good. Now, um, the only thing that you were lacking here was your conclusion. Let me make one more note. One second. Okay. So yeah, you were lacking your your conclusion. Now, conclusion. what you could have uh, what you could have done is instead of adding the last uh, last point of learning a new language, is moving right into your conclusion. Okay, and that would have been okay. All right. You had two reasons in there. Okay, and then and then uh, you want to say so. Those are the reasons why I believe. Okay, and then you go into the rest, right? So um, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, at some grammar. Okay, because your intro was good. Okay, you had your supporting statements, and we were lacking in the uh, lacking in the conclusion. Okay, grammar wise. Okay, uh, you said when you get study abroad. Okay, <clears throat> we need to say when you get to study abroad. Uh, to get to study abroad. Uh -huh. Okay, when you get Got to it. study abroad. Okay, next one. Uh, to get high paid job, I need an article there. Which article and where do I put it? To, to get, get a uh, high. A there high you paid. go. Uh -huh. To get a high paid job. Okay. Paid job. Uh -huh. Okay, next one here. Uh, learn new language. I need an article. Which article? <laughs> a, new, a new language. Learn a new Learn language. A new language. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. So work work on your articles. Make make sure that you're adding those in. Okay. All right. Okay. Much better job. Your structure is it was much better this time around. Okay, Patrick. <laughs> okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Awesome. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, let's see here, Raquel. Okay. All right, Raquel, let's do number 23, please. Okay. Students at universities often have a choice of places to live. They may choose to live in a new university dormitory or they may choose to live in apartments in the community. Compare the advantages of living in university housing with the advantages of living in an apartment in the community. Where would you prefer to live? Give results for the preference. Okay. In what is in forty-five seconds? I have to do all these things. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's talk about it briefly. Okay. Okay. So with the compare and contrast plus giving your preference, your introduction is not really going to 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 exist. Okay. okay. I would go right into uh, uh, your compare and contrast. So I would say um, there are. Uh, there are many uh, 
dis let's see here. So compare and contrast. There are many similarities and differences to living in an apartment uh, on campus uh, versus living uh, in an apartment off campus. Okay. Some of them are okay, and I would say the uh, a similarity. Okay, um, or I would say so. One of them, one a similarity is, and I would list a similarity. A um, a difference is, and I would list a difference. Okay, then I would go in and say I, or, or say personally, I prefer to live on campus, or personally, I prefer to live off campus. Okay, because of, and you can go to one of the two of the similarity or the uh, the uh, um, the difference. Okay, and then move into your conclusion. Okay, so there's a lot of moving parts in this one. Okay, and these compare and contrast, they are the most difficult. Okay, because there's a lot to cover to answer that question properly. Okay, so let's uh, 15 seconds. All okay. right, and then and then we'll give it a whirl. Okay, here we go. Okay, you ready? Okay. All right, let's go. Living in university dormitories or apartments have both pros and cons. But let me focus on the con of the pros. Uh, first of all, when you are a new person arriving at university, when you are a newcomer, uh, the main uh, feelings are that you are alone, that you don't know anyone. So living in a dormitory may give you the opportunity to enter the community. So that's a very good way to start your university life. However, when you are settled down, you may start want to have your own privacy and to, to have your close group of friends. So an apartment gives you the best opportunity to do that. That's what I did in my case and I think this is what works. So I suggest you to do that. Okay. All right. Good. Now, um, taking taking a look here, your introduction was was really good. Okay. Uh, living in, living in an apartment uh, uh, on and off campus has pros and cons. Okay. And instead mm -hmm. of saying instead of saying um, now, I would like to focus on the the pros first. Okay. I would say a pro is, and then go right into it. Okay, so a pro to living on campus is you have a built-in community. Okay, you don't have to go very far to meet new people there on campus that have the same interests. Okay, mm -hmm. a con. Okay, so I wouldn't spend uh, as much time on that pro. Okay, a uh huh. The point that I think they only ask me to compare the advantages, not the disadvantages. That's why I always talk about the pro. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I am. I misunderstood the question. Oh, uh, the advantages. Yes. Okay. So the the advantages. Yeah, I thought it was advantages and disadvantages. Uh, but ah, it's the same one. Didn't we have one of these the other day? Where where mm -hmm. it was only the advantages? I it may not have been with you, but it was with the with no. another one. Okay. No, so. No. Okay. So yeah. So the the advantages. So yeah, you talk about your advantages. Still with that. Okay, I wouldn't spend as much time. Okay. okay. So, uh, really quick on that one. Uh, the pro to living on campus would be you have a, a built-in community where the people have pretty much the same interest as, as you. Okay. Uh, a pro to living off campus is, okay, you get to have parties all the time and no one yells or, you know, whatever whatever it may be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then... Then you go into your your uh, um, your preference after that, okay? Mm -hmm. But yeah, these ones these ones are the most complicated. They are the most complicated, okay? But but you did you did very well. I, again, I really liked your intro. I thought it was really good, okay? All right, nice job, you guys. Um, we are um, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Amparo was new Um we are out of time for for this hour. Thank you for uh, for coming in. Um, I will be uh, uh, on break until uh, tomorrow night. I'll, I'll be back. 
So thank thank you guys for coming in. Have a great uh, Saturday and Sunday. And we'll see you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, guys.